an early childhood development center built in 1989. Over the years, infrastructure problems developed and they have gotten worse. But the Ranja Shikolo Shawena project is here to deal with the issues. This project has seen community members and sponsors come on board to tackle challenges in schools. Since we launched it uh, after, during COVID, when there was a lot of uh, declarations which were taking place, at least they have come down. It tells us that our people are beginning to understand that these schools belong to them and they must participate in uh, securing these schools. But uh, we still have some sporadic uh, challenges in so far as that is concerned. But uh, we are quite happy about the involvement of our people in uh, protecting schools. The Forex Institute of Technology was roped in to assist the Department of Basic Education with repairs at schools. We have managed to restore electric, all the electrical uh, component of this school. This school was not having lights, even the plugs were not working. So through our electrical artisans, we managed to put back, I think you can see the lights all over. And also you can see the painting, it was old. So through our artisan painters, we managed to repaint the school. The geysers were no longer working. So using our plumbers, we managed to restore the geysers. The toilets were no longer working. We also managed to, uh, to resuscitate all the toilets. The Sikulile ECD Centre has 117 children. They are divided between two classrooms, leading to overcrowding. The challenges we have is the number of children we have in our centre. We have a lot of children, but according to the norms and standards, the number of children we have, we don't comply with the norms and standards. So we need a more space, we need more classes to accommodate the children and to comply with the norms and standards. Since the official launch of the project a couple of years ago, many community members have become involved to help fix up and safeguard schools. Ndlandla Jele, SABC News, Kanyamazani, Mpumalanga.